dad guilt. Feeling the dad guilt. Do you feel the dad guilt? Let me know in the comments below. That's what we're going to get into today. Welcome to the Rise to Thrive show. I am your host, James Borman. And if you are coming through, then please do let me know whether it's through saying good morning on the comments, leaving a love heart, sharing this post. Either way. How was your weekend? Good, I hope. I've been spending all weekend getting over having implants put in here. So it's been a little bit niggly. Um, anyway, I was putting a little one to bed last night. Put the little one to bed. My beautiful little girl, four years old. And she, she went to a party. And she was all dressed as uh, with her bumblebee wings on and a unicorn hat on and her little dress. And she looked stunning. She was amazing. And she's so full of character and life. Um, and it was my turn to put the bed to, uh, put, put her to bed. And at the same time, the big kids showed up after saying goodbye to mum. She drove off to work for the week. And I had to do some work with the boy, getting him ready for his maths GCSE as well. And I was having a bit of pain with my mouth as well, so I was feeling a little bit frustrated. And I was putting a little one to bed, and she was trying to have so much fun with me. And I was just like very short, very like, let's go quickly, move, let's go. You know, Do you know what it's like as a dad when you're trying to get stuff done, you're trying to... You're like, I'm trying to help my boy, I'm trying to help Alba, I'm trying to help Jem, and it's like all the things that are going on. And I was rushing through, and I could feel like I was being in apps, you know, just an arse, a bit short. I wasn't really engaging in the moment in, in terms of putting a little one to bed. And she just jumped up, jumped on me, cuddled me, and just went, Dad, I love you. And I just felt like instant like guilt that I had been such an ass for the last five minutes rushing her rushing this whole process that I feel so privileged to have that I put myself in a position to be in and then I feel and then I go downstairs and work with Bailey and I work with Bailey and I can see he's not like processing yet I can feel he's mentally exhausted but we've got to get this maths done and I feel yeah and you come out of it and you just completely and utterly feel guilty about the things that you're trying to do and I and I know completely that these type of things that we have to do as dads, right? Like, not, the, this is just everyday living. It can't be Disneyland all the time where everything's smiles and happiness, right? I get that this is reality and this is life. This is the way it rolls. But, like, the guilt is horrible, right? And I think to myself, well, oh, at least... I get to come home to my kids every day. At least I get to see them. At least I'm not driving off to the military anymore on a Sunday night. And I learned from those experiences last night, talking to you about it, documenting it, opening up to it. I won't be the only one. I won't be the only one, you know. And I think when you feel dad guilt, you can, you can start feeling sorry for yourself. And I think it's important not to feel sorry for yourself. I think it's important to recognise the situation and be open with it like I'm being with you. Because it's reality of being a parent, being a father. You know, sometimes you have to work late. Sometimes you can't always get them what they want. Sometimes it doesn't work out the way you want it to. Sometimes you're not always in a Disneyland mood. But I equally think, guys, that we mustn't be hard on ourselves, you know? And I was reflecting on this this morning and you're like, God, I felt, you know, when I, when I finished with Alba and the boy last night, I just like I had a little cry to myself. I was just like, geez, I feel like I was so hard on myself. And then I went, no, you do tons for these kids. Like you work relentlessly for them. You give them loads of love. You give them loads of support. And I think that's what you have to do. You have to give yourself that positive reinforcement as a father about what you're doing. Do you know what I mean? Don't beat yourself up about it. Times to feel guilty is, I think, when you're not really paying attention to them or when you're not giving them the love that they need or deserve. You know, there's a fine line. I, th I really feel there's a fine line here. But if you're not just in that right mood or that right, right state of mind at the time, you know, they're not going to take that personally forever if you have that one bad spell. You know, like last night, Al was not going to turn up tonight and said, oh, Dad, you were like rushing me last night. You didn't really pay to me that much attention. You do know what I mean? You're a bit of an ass. 
only you will reflect on that and beat yourself up about it. And I think that's why being a parent is so amazing because you constantly are learn, growing and repeating. Learn, grow, repeat, learn, grow, repeat. It tests your elite operator all of the time, right? And you can take those situations with your kids, those emotions that you have and those feelings that you have, and you can take it into reality in terms of taking it into other relationships that you have around you. Work relationships, love relationships, friendships, parents, whatever. And you can have the same processes and the same thoughts in your head over and over and over again. We shouldn't feel guilty, you should just be learning. We should be more self-aware, we shouldn't dwell. We should process, move on, process, move on, okay? And feeling guilty makes you, for me, a great father, because you care, because you care, because you want to be a better parent, you want to be a better friend, you want to be a better partner, a husband. So to sort of share something and talk about something a little bit different this morning, you know, it's the realities of life. I know when she wakes up this morning, I'm gonna give her the biggest squeeze ever. I'm gonna pick up my boy tomorrow and say, hey, boy, let's go, let's do it, you know? And it just makes those relationships stronger. Anyway, listen, uh, I hope you have an amazing Monday. If you haven't registered for our Remember the Mission seminar, you still have time. There are still so many places left. There are, I've said that wrong. There are not many places left, sorry. Um, I can't believe how busy it's got. I can't believe how quickly tickets have been sold. I just literally, I'm so humbled, honestly. I really appreciate it. Um, I was threatening the whole week leading up to it, like no one's gonna show up. It's just gonna be me there uh, twilling my thumbs. Um, but so I'm super humbled. Get your tickets while they last, guys. Don't procrastinate. I hope you have an amazing day.